Hello good people and welcome to Finance Skills Hub. Here we learn, we connect and we grow. Usually when you are doing a sum based on a criteria in Excel, you put one criteria against one criteria range. Now in this short video, we are going to explore how to put more than one criteria against a criteria range using pivot tables and sum products. So join me in Excel and let's go through this in five minutes. So here's my sample data from a restaurant. It shows the transaction for each day, the department of the restaurant, the category, which contains main meal, other drinks and water, and the amount. Our goal is simply analyze this by category and amount. Now, because this is a one year data, I'm just going to put in the 12 month list. So January, February, and once I take these two, hold and copy it down up to December I have the month list here now this is already a table I've named it Finex okay so I want to extract the unique list from the category I can do that using the unique function one of the new functions in Microsoft 365 so unique I call the name of the table which is Finex and I'm going to go into category so I'll bring my square bracket and then go into category and then I'll close this so this pulls the unique items in here for what I want to do I want this sorted so I'm going to use sort which is another new function to sort this in alphabetical order so that I have other drinks and water following each other Again, I just want this to go from left to right. So I'll transpose it another function and this will now go main meal to water. Now, what I want to do is I want to analyze how much was sold in January for main meal on one side. Okay. But for the user, he wants us to collapse these two into one criteria. Okay. So this is also going to be another criteria together. Now, the challenge though is that we need to also bring in these month names using the dates. So we are going to use the sum product function, a very versatile function to help us do this calculation. So equal to sum product, open my bracket. And the first thing I'm going to do is to call in the amount column. So find X square brackets. I have my amount here. Okay. And I'm going to multiply this. I'll open my bracket and call the name again finex which is the name of the table and go into category so for this calculation i want the category to first be equal to main meal okay and then i'll close my bracket so this satisfies one of the criteria the second one is that when i open my bracket and i call finex the dates okay should be equal to this abbreviation so what I'm going to do is first run the text function so the text function will now go on the table and then in the date section okay so if I format this this way mmm which matches what I have here okay this whole thing should be equal to January okay so this is my formula and then I'll close my brackets for text and then I'll close my final sum product. So this is for main meal. So if you look at our formula, we need to do some locking here while we anticipate copying this down. The fourth row should be locked. So I'll put a dollar sign against row four and I also lock column J so that I can copy to the right. Okay, so if I do this, I can now copy this control R now when I come here the formula is working all right but we want to have other drinks and water together okay so we can group this so what I'm going to do is instead of the category referencing only one here I'm extending this to cover L4 and M4 and this is possible using some product okay so this will be my answer for January and then I'll just copy this down okay now note this what we are going to do is just create the total so alt equal to 
so I have this control B and then I have this control B okay now let's test our answers with a pivot table so if we're using a pivot table what we are going to do is stand in here go to insert a pivot table from this find next table I want to put this side by side so I'll choose existing worksheet and then come and place this here so I have something like this and I'm going to put amount in values okay and I'm going to put my dates in rows so when I do that it's going to give me the date at a granular level so I will right click this and then group at month level okay so I have January to December in that order now our goal is to be able to group this by analyze this by main meal and other drinks and water so I'm going to drop this category into the column section so we have something like this so main meal and then other drinks if it helps let me just cut this and align it so bottom line what we are trying to achieve here is to collapse other drinks and water into one category so here I can highlight these two go to pivot table analyze and group selection okay so when you group selection it groups this and I can come to the design remove subtotals so it's easier for us to track okay so this is our main meal in one group and then in group one which is the default name I have these two so when I collapse this it looks something like this I can rename this let's just say called call this drinks so I have my main meals and drinks and over here too I can have the same main meal and drinks and then total okay so the learning has been that if you have two criteria you want to collapse and use in your summing you can easily do that using some products all you need to do is to use some product and assign it to the two cells here if only use pivot tables to when you lay out you can highlight the two columns and use group to give you the same effect please practice and add it to your list of excel tricks for more of these short videos you can send add to this whatsapp number who we'll add you to our broadcast list so you receive our videos directly on your phones all our old videos are on our youtube channel find the skills up please visit subscribe for notification of new videos or connect with us on any of these social media handles thank you so much for watching